This video is about when you poison the well by resisting your thoughts. So how does that happen? So when you have a thought or a trigger or anything like that um, and you resist it, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Right? It goes won't, won't, won't because it, it needs to be acknowledged. It needs you to you it needs you to uh, be aware of the perceived danger. It's job is to keep you alive. It's a security system, right? It's sending you alarms. But if you, you know, resist them, stop, 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 right? And you, you distract. What happens is these alarms go bigger. And then it, the brain takes a snapshot and goes, okay, let's keep that in the files. Uh, I want to send you a briefing helmet. We want to talk about this intruder that we're perceiving, you know, we're perceiving danger and you're, you're ignoring it. And so the security systems, you know, got you in a boardroom is trying to debrief you on, on this intruder and this danger that it's perceiving, right? And you're not listening. So it's chasing you, trying to keep you alive, but you're just not listening. You're like, I don't want to stop, stop, stop. Distract, distract. I don't want to acknowledge the alarms. And the brain's like, okay, we got to, all right, let's, uh, you know, we got to get his attention. We got to get him to acknowledge the alarm so that we can know what to do. Because there's an intruder here. He's telling us nothing. He's ignoring it. Uh, we need some answers here. So, uh, okay, well, let's let's ring the alarms louder. So the, the brain rings the alar alarms louder and they start getting louder. And you're like, no, fuck no. This is distraction. No. Oh, my God. This is, this is too much. Uh, stop sending me the alarms. I can't. Okay, I'm going to have to really double down on the distraction. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Fuck that. No, I'm going to distract. I'm going to go and count backwards. Five, four, three. Okay. I'm going to look at that tree. Because the present moment, that's all that matters, right? I'm going to hide from my thoughts with the present moment. And, oh. So what does it do? What does the brain do? It starts to make posters and puts them out, out everywhere. So then... You know, you could be driving your car, you look at your steering wheel, right? And all of a sudden that steering wheel reminds you of, of what you're fearing. It becomes the steering wheel is a trigger, right? All of a sudden it's it's baiting you to the to that thought that has nothing to do. What does the steering wheel have to do with anything? Right? And all of a sudden, you know, you could be petting a kitty, kitty cat, and then that kitty cat reminds you of that thought, that that alarm of that intruder. You're like what the fuck is going on? All of a sudden, there's these posters of the intruder everywhere. The brain's putting up all these posters and pictures of the intruder with its face. You go, and this guy, the description at the bottom has a smelly ass. He's five foot eleven, and you're getting wrapped up with a world of posters everywhere. You go to go take a leak. You look into the toilet water. There's a silhouette of the the intruder you, everywhere you look. It's been magnified. The brain's been magnifying this intruder, right? That's all you see. All of a sudden, you know, something that was in the background all of a sudden becomes becomes all you see, right? You, you go look over here, it's all you see. You look over here, it's all you see. And everything around you gets poisoned with this alarm, right? Things that have nothing to do with it. You could be in Canada, go to travel into Australia, and for, for some reason you look at a kangaroo and it'll remind you, of the intruder that the brain's been trying to warn you about for the past month. And everything gets poisoned. Your religion, your relationship, your your family, all the things you love, right? Um, things you like to do, you like to go hiking, all the things, all of a sudden, they get poisoned. They get tainted. So things get tainted. So then what do you do? Instead of finally... Acknowledging the alarms, what do you do? You double down and you avoid these places. You're like, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna avoid my car because there's a steering wheel in there and it's triggering that so-called intruder alarm that you're trying to protect me from. Fuck that, I'm just not gonna drive anymore. And that, you know, that takes care of that. Don't have to drive, right? And then you start avoiding the park. You start stop going to the beach. And then you stop going to the kitchen and cooking because that's been poisoned. And then you stop going to the washroom and you stop talking to people on the phone and you avoid people and you, 
right? Your, your world gets smaller and smaller. And then before you know it, you're in this room. And your room gets, everything in the room is a trigger. That pillow, you looked at the pillow. For some reason, the pillow is now tainted with that horrible, scary thought. What the fuck does a pillow have to do with your scary thought of this intruder with a smelly ass, right? I'm, I'm picking bad examples because I don't want to trigger anybody, but work with me here. So that's what happens with distraction. You're, you're, when you're distracting like this, the alarm goes, no, this is, actually, okay, he's resisting. That must be dangerous. I was correct that the perceived danger was correct. So I have to get his attention because it's, it's going to kill us. This intruder is going to kill us. We got we to gotta find a way to get his attention. So we're going to, when he looks over here, we're going to put a post to here. When he looks over at the pillow, when he looks at the steering wheel, when he goes, where, everywhere he goes, when he walks, every tree is going to remind him. We're going to start, we're going to start tainting all the trees. Right? So you know what? You know what I'll do? Fuck that. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to close my eyes. You can't get me. Okay, we gotta make some sounds. Make some sounds that'll remind him of the trigger. Okay, fuck it, I'll just do it like this. All right, well, we gotta, the air. It's gonna be a smell in the air that's gonna remind him of that intruder trigger. Okay, well, I'll just fucking stop breathing then, you fucking asshole. Like, what the fuck, man? I don't care. Go away. So that's what happens. It poisons the well, it grows tentacles, and it wraps around everything in your life right? Everything. You can't drink a bottle of water without it being a trigger because it reminds you of what you're fearing. Because when you're just by drinking this bottle of water, you're feeling this impending doom and it's a nightmare. This, this bottle of water has been tainted. Now it's become your new nightmare, right? Things you love to do, go to the beach, take your dogs for a walk. Your dogs are becoming nightmares now. People you love all of a sudden become your nightmares. So you start avoiding. So then the avoidance behaviors reaffirm to the brain that they're dangerous because they go back to the root of the main trigger that you've been ignoring, the main alarm that you've been ignoring. So everything becomes an alarm. Everything becomes a trigger. You can't even, without a sound or even the clock going tick tock, will fucking bring you to the moon. You literally feel like you're going crazy. You can't run away from this thought because everything around you is just a reminder of the impending doom of that thought. You get doubts. Your doubt level goes up through the roof. Everything's a doubt. A reminder going, see, see, see. The brain's going, see. Hey, buddy, you tried to hide from me, hey? You put the blankets over you. You lay your head down. You open your eyes. There's a trigger going, hey, bud. You can't run, man. I'm everywhere. What's going on? Hey, so about that thought, can we talk about it now? Because, yeah, I know you hate it. It's your nightmare. But, uh... No! No, you know what? I'm going to go into the middle of a forest and go like this, and you can't get me. Fuck that. Stop, stop, stop. Resistance. Let's do this. Let's go. You're in the middle of a forest. The cardinal triggers the shit out of you. He goes, is that a sign? Is that, is that the spirits telling me that my, my scary thought is real? Everything becomes a sign all of a sudden. Everything's going, you, you, you. Everything's starting to close in on you. So remember, when you have an alarm, a thought, trigger, and you resist it, the brain's going to go, Dude, no, we got, you got to listen to this. No, I don't want to listen to this. Dude, you have to. No, I don't. I don't have to. All right, he doesn't want to listen to this. What the fuck? We got to get his attention because he's in danger. We're perceiving danger, and this could fucking kill him. And our job is to keep him alive. So what the fuck are we going to do? All right, we got to, you know, we got to start making some posters. Okay, let's print out posters and put them everywhere. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, taint everything in his fucking life until he, you know, pays attention and... and Listens to us because we he needs to tell us what to do. Are we gonna fight or flee? Like this is this is uh you know action time now, man. We gotta fucking all right. Put on the alarms everywhere. We're gonna put alarms on everywhere. We're gonna put lights everywhere. You know where he, all the things that he does. There's gonna be lights there of alarms ringing, 
and posters and everything is going to be a reminder. There's going to be spotlights everywhere. And you're going to be like, fuck, man. Now I got to deal with this shit. It's fucking everywhere I go. I can't even be in a dark room without a spotlight. So that's what happens. So now what do you do? How do you resolve this? Right? Everything's poisoned. You got tentacles everywhere wrapped around everything that you love in your world, in your life. Now what do you do? Hmm. There's alarms everywhere. There's these posters of of your horror story everywhere on things that have nothing to do with that trigger or thought. It's become a spotlight on everything and it's growing like this, right? So what do you do? How do you resolve this? Well, like I said, stop resisting and acknowledge the alarms, right? Talk to your security system. Go, all right, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take the time. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to you. I'll, okay. All right, good. Finally. Holy fuck. Okay, he's going to listen. Okay, let's get you into the office, into the room. And we'll debrief, debrief, deep, 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 deep. We'll debrief you. All right, cool. So show me the fear. What's going on? Okay, we got the paperwork. Hand him over the file. Here's the file. Holy fuck. Okay, tell me about him. What's going on? Okay, he's 5'11". Uh, his ass stinks. He's got black hair. He's a bit of a dick. Okay. All right. So that's the intruder. Sorry, we had to put up booby traps everywhere at the park, at the beach. And... Uh, She was snoring. So the brain will will put up booby traps everywhere so that, you know, when you walk at a certain place or you see that pillow, that's a booby trap. And it's going to, the file's going to download and be like, mayday, 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 right? Because it's trying to keep you alive. So it sets all these traps everywhere. And they'll be they'll surprise the shit out of you. Be like, oh, fuck, there's that trigger. Oh, man, it's bringing me back. Oh, that intruder, that's right. I didn't. I didn't resolve that because I didn't acknowledge the alarms. I didn't change the program to safety. So it's, you got these hidden booby traps. You got these posters everywhere. You got these spotlights everywhere. So you're in the, 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 the you're in the deep briefing room. Sorry. So you're in the deep briefing room. It's, it's starting to tell you, okay, we got, okay, he's five foot 11. As, uh, he's a bit of a dick. He's got black hair. Uh, you know. This guy's the intruder. Okay. All right. I don't like it. I don't like it. It sounds scary. It's, uh, you know, bear with me. This is just an example. It's scary. I don't like it. Okay. Can, can I debrief you again? Let's do it again. All right. So he's got black hair. He's, uh, you know, he's got a bit of a limp. He's got a tattoo of a scorpion right here. He's uh, scary looking. His ass stinks. He's got, he's got, does he have bad breath? Yeah, he's got bad. How did you know that? I don't know. I think uh, I heard the last debriefing. You told me that you had bad. Yeah. So okay, I'm gonna debrief you again. Yeah, do it again. Yeah, go ahead. You know, go nuts. Give me more. Okay. So he has this uh, this black jacket and this this uh, this mask that he wears. He can't really tell what he looks like, but I know he's got black hair. And uh, yeah, he's got bad breath. All right. Okay. All right. Do it again. S send it to me again. Because I think we're okay. Yeah? Okay, so he's 5'11. He's an intruder. I think he's scary. Uh, he's got white shoes, I think. Yeah. No, I think we're good. Okay, d come give me another debriefing again. Tell, what was that? What's the guy's, what's the guy's name? Uh, what guy? This the intruder, the scary guy. Oh, I don't think he has an, I don't, we don't know his name. I think he's got, uh, I think he has hair. No, uh, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, what are we working on? What's uh? Did you forget? Forget about what? Can you give me a debriefing again? About who? That guy, that scary guy. Oh, I thought you said he was uh, safe. Yeah, he is safe. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Well, can you tell everybody to turn off the spotlights? Oh, we already started to. The spotlights are off, right? And from that moment on, everything 
has a domino effect. All your triggers go poof, 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 right? They, out of, of nowhere, you look at the steering wheel, right? It, it doesn't hit you at a 10, it hits you like at a four. So you gotta move around through life and go to the places that were booby traps. So you gotta go to the beach. You gotta go uh, take your car for a drive. You gotta go and where all these hidden booby traps are and where, you know, where the well was poisoned, you gotta go there and move around and do the same methods of allowing because there's there, there are old there are old alarm systems that are still ringing. Even though the mainframe has said, yeah, we're good. Uh, you know, take everything off, you know, and it, most of the stuff goes poof, 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 and it's like a domino effect. There's still going to be little trace amounts of uh, booby trap triggers. So you got to move around, get back into it, and eventually the well will dilute and it won't, the poison will thin out everywhere you go. The beach, all those places that it was able to poison that you loved, all the doubt levels start to go down again, right? The reality starts to adjust again. Um, all the poisons and the tentacles start to go backwards again, right? And the booby traps explode, domino effect, everything goes back online, and trigger's gone, right? Spotlights turn off. The alarms go back to standby. Right? Monitoring. Cool. Right? It's not focused on anything. You can be in a dark room. There's no spotlights. You can be in your safe room. You can be everywhere. And the safe room ends up being just a normal room. It's not a safe room anymore because you're not hiding from danger. And then you learn this. You're like, okay, I was able to get that trigger dissolved or you know that intruder is gone poof the booby traps are all gone it's all gone that's great but then in the future when this happens again when the brain perceives danger it takes a snapshot it sees a an intruder and it wants to tell you about it don't ignore it don't double down don't do avoidance behaviors acknowledge it ask for more right and it's going to debrief you over and over again. This is where the exposure comes in. And you're going to go towards it. And you're going to feel the feelings. You're going to feel like shit. You're not going to like it. And uh, the brain's just doing its job, right? It could be anything. It could become a trigger. Anything. Think of it. You know, the brain can throw it back in your face if you resist it. And it can grow bigger. And then everything is poisoned. So instead of poisoning the well, because you got to drink from it, we need to start to acknowledge so we can dilute the well so we can drink from it again. And then keep doing this because you're going to have triggers pop in and out through this journey. And the way to do it is go towards, let it do its thing, ask for more with repetition, right? Doing it once, acknowledging a trigger once is not enough. You need the exposure, repetition, right? To go from a 10 to a 5 to a 3 to a 2 to a 1. And here's the, here's the really important part. Every time you do this, very important, engage in life. Bring the trigger with you, right? Bring the alarm with you. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it's trigger, intrusive thought, OCD, loop. It's all the same. But when you resist it, it grows, right? And it finds, it finds a way to poison everything else of that trigger so that you're aware of it. Because you're not you're not acknowledging it. You're not acknowledging the alarm. So the brain has to find ways to plaster your life, your world with this with this little thing becomes bigger. Right? It'll plaster it everywhere. So that you see. It'll put the spotlights around it. It'll put booby traps everywhere. It'll right and that's when your world gets small and you're just haunted by the thought feeling. Um symptom or whatever it is so resistance is not a good thing it makes it puts your world upside down because what you resist persists alarms get turned on baseline goes up more alarms get turned on and it's a it's a literal shit show you're in a nightmare so process the alarms allow them to be 
practice this. It, go, it takes time. You can't just expose one time to an alarm. You have to expose it at least 10, 15, 20 times. You know, uh, keep doing it until it goes meh. And then when you do it, don't white knuckle through it. Don't go, oh, fuck, I hate this. I'm exposing. Oh. The brain goes, yeah, keep the alarms out. Holy fuck. Made it, made it. Get the troops in. No. When you're going through, when you're, exposing yourself to the alarms by listening to the debriefing go okay okay lean into it your drunk noodles your overcooked noodles all right buddy he's five foot ten. Oh, he's five foot ten now i thought he was five foot eleven does his breath stink yeah cool we'll give him a tic tac okay well i think uh you know it's safe so thank you for telling me this i think this guy is safe or this food is safe or this thought the symptom is safe okay all right, can we do this again? Yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Right? You're not white knuckling through it. You're not surviving through it. And then you engage. You go to the beach. Right? You move around to the beach. You have fun. You do your shit there. You recalibrate. You go uh, take your car for a car wash. You take the dogs for a walk. Right? You love your dogs. They're so beautiful and cute. Right? And then eventually everything goes back to normal. So do this with every... Alarm, trigger, OCD loop, intrusive thought. Do not resist. Do not go stop, stop, stop. Because that keeps you stuck.